Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. We are so happy to see you. Everyone loves a doll haul video, right? Naturally. Naturally. We love doll hauls. So this is our, it's a mini doll haul. It's not tons of dolls, but we've got some good ones in here. Yeah. So in this video, we are going to show you all of the dolls that we purchased. This is what we got at UFDC, at the UFDC doll convention. So yeah. this is a fun one. We have uh, Christopher's big purchase in the beginning <laughs> and my big purchase, which you're gonna be very surprised that that's what I bought. And we have some fun ones in here. All right, Christopher. So first of all, oh my gosh, we had so much fun at the convention. Uh, this is my <laughs> very first UFDC. I told everybody the whole week and it's true that I just felt like I was floating. Yeah. Um, I've been to conventions before and I've been to like doll-ish things sort of before, but this is a breed of its own and I had no idea what really to expect. And uh, thank you to everybody who came up to say hello, um, who was so gracious to give us hugs and stories and it was it was really, really just wonderful. So, it, a marvelous time. It was wonderful. Uh, I, I kind of want to do a dedicated video just on our experience because it just, it feels like we could talk about it for an entire hour. Truly. But I have been to conventions my entire life and this was just different. It was, it was, everyone was so lovely and yeah. so wonderful and it was balm for the heart. I thought it was going to be really hard for me emotionally and it was amazing. It was everything I needed. Good. And we learned so much. Yeah, and it's your, your first one in four years. First one in four years, first one since my mom passed and I've never been to one without her and I just thought it, I thought I was done emotionally yeah. with it and um, it was just a new era to come with, with Christopher and every one of you was so wonderful. Oh my gosh, we had so much fun. The, the week itself was really, really spectacular. It was. Um, but also we have a wonderful array of things that we took home with us from such a wonderful That's right. It's so, a little haul. It's a little haul. It's a qu uh, quality over quantity haul. Oh, we don't have Smokey the Bear. He was, oh, where's Smokey? Oh, I gotta find Smokey. <laughs> okay, so we just looked all over for Smokey. After a frantic hunt, I am sad and unfortunate, uh, disappointed to say that I, I don't know where I put him. John Port, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I unpacked him. I unpacked all these suitcases and I have hidden him from myself somewhere in the shop. So I will, I will go find him. Sorry. Also, real quick, we have to talk about our t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Hello. so this is why we have these on. Yes, and this I have... Journey of Discovery. Journey of Discovery's t-shirt. Here's mine. Very cute, a nice gray, <laughs> gray variation. Yes. Lovely. Thank you to UFDC for giving us these. So the doll that caught your eye for the for opening night of the sales room yes. is this gorgeous midge. Opening night of the sales room. My heart is pounding. I'm walking around thinking I need to get everything before anyone else can. If I see something good, it needs to be mine quickly. Um, and a dress that I've wanted for a little, a little while is Holiday Dance. This is a 1964, uh, 65 ensemble. And uh, it's beautiful for just about any occasion. It's a wonderful gold lame. It's the same pattern that Fashion Queen Barbie, her swimsuit is made out of, the same with the turban. There's there's another couple ensembles that use this fabric, but this one is, uh, usually the straps are all torn to pieces, and sometimes this isn't even present at all, much less in, you know, intact. Uh, it's got a little tiny detail here with a, uh, a little crystal bead closure at the waist, and usually that is hard to find because it breaks or it's missing or whatever. Um, this is not a mint dress necessarily, although that uh, term is sort of subjective, but it's, it's close. And um, the purse is actually my own from my collection. The shoes I've seen in a couple different versions. So if you have seen our uh, little theater, video. In that video, I discuss the sort of difference between what collectors have coined as a spike heel versus a closed toe pump. That sort of main distinguishing difference is the way that the, the heel, the part that sits on the heel of her foot specifically, uh, is shaped. So um, I didn't have a spike to bring in to show. I was looking for some and I couldn't find any of mine at home. But it's got sort of a, a ridge here along the heel. Um, anyway, it's a it's a slight different variation. Uh, I've seen this with, with both of those shoe styles. Um, so this is kind of fun and um, very festive. This is on a bendable, uh, lifelike bendable leg midge, also known as uh, an American Girl midge. And she's really cute. Uh, midge uh, usually has sort of a squirrely face and whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's about to have a squirrely face. Uh, and some wild hair. We but, walked uh, out of the booth, and then before we walked completely out, you turned around and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna get her. Yeah, I was like, you know what, I'll do another lap and see if I come back around, like if it's destined and meant to be, she'll still be there. And I was like, actually, just do I'm it. in control of my own destiny. Yep. I yep. can't leave without her. 
Um, good for you. And, uh, I was happy. And for I was you. offered a really good price, and um, and I had to have her. So the rest is history. The rest is history. Now speaking of history, Alan is making history right now because <laughs> Alan has always kind of taken the back seat as far as everything in Barbie world. It's true. And I bought an Allen in the same booth. Oh my gosh. And I, I bought an Allen. Well, not only is it nice to have one, but he's very, very nice. Yeah, he is. His face and hair are in perfect condition. He's uh, complete with his sandals. And this, I think, is so fun because he still has his original wrist tag. That's what sold me. It's never been taken off. And he is in his original liner. You can see the uh, first owner very affectionately wrote Alan, uh, January 11th, 1965. That's so cute. Inside of there. I think that's so charming. So cute. Uh, and it's also written uh, on the bottom here. So uh, whoever had him previously loved him dearly. And, uh, uh, you know, controversial opinion, but I actually think he's much more handsome than Ken is. Um, in I the think, doll form, for sure, I think. Oh, definitely, yeah. right? There are depictions of Ken illustrated that is like, that's a hunk, but uh, the actual <laughs> Ken doll, I'm like, well, he's fine. Uh, but the Ryan Gosling Ken. <laughs> no, that's a different story. <laughs> Actually plastic. Um, no, Alan is so charming, and he is uh, mint condition, so we had to snatch him up. I know. I, he, just, he's for our museum collection here. We didn't have one, so we had to get one, and he's so cute. Perfect. So then our, our first dolls are were from our Jonathan Green Luncheon, in which we have the souvenir doll. And then these little cuties were the dolls that we had at our Katie Cruza event. These are such sweet souvenirs. I absolutely love them. This is Joanna. She is a traditionally dressed six and a half inch doll. Uh, she is modeled after the doll one, which was one of Jonathan's absolute favorite KT Cruza dolls. And the companion is named Greta. And they have the initials JG to honor Jonathan Green. And I think that is incredibly special. And they are so very sweet. So I think they're absolutely adorable. We got two of them because I wanted to put them in our uh, permanent display here that um, is going to honor Jonathan Green. So those were wonderful. Yeah, and they're wonderfully made too. The, the detail on the face they feel wonderful. They yeah. look very pretty. They're just really nice dolls. They're all hand painted, handmade in Germany, just in the same <laughs> in the factory that Katie Kruza has been using. And and they they take a very long time to make. It's a, it's still a very much a cottage industry with Katie Kruza. So yeah. we're very happy to have those. Yes, very lucky too. Very lucky. Now th these these dolls are Jonathan Green. These were not at the luncheon, but they're they're here to just make the table look a little bit more full and party filled. Yeah. So then we got let's see. The last night, mm -hmm. Friday, mm -hmm. we had in the afternoon our Julian Kalinowski tea. Yes, we did. And these, you about blew a gasket. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, I was very, very excited. I have been a fan of Julian's work for a very long time. I've been a fan of uh, Bill Lilly for a very long time. And Lilly holds a similar sort of excitement for me as the earliest Barbie dolls do. Um, she is breathlessly gorgeous. And some of the fashions are really, really, really phenomenal. And Julian does an artful job of remaking uh, them. These are our creations of his own that really homage Lily in a very authentic way. Um, and so aside from the other major touch points of the trip, this night of the week was like the one so I was fun. most excited for. <laughs> we were dressed in super fun outfits oh, yeah. and we just had a blast. Listen, when Julian Kalinowski calls, you pick up the phone that's and right. I have the outfits to wear. Yeah, that's um, right. We had so much fun. He made some absolutely remarkable dolls and uh, the one in the pink there on the left was the souvenir doll that everyone attending the luncheon um, was able to take home and she really is a knockout. Um, I left her in the tube so you can see the cylinder that she comes in is down to the stand, down to the plastic cylinder, is an exact replica of what you would have gotten in the 50s uh, and the early 60s. Um, really, really, truly astounding. So much so that he even took the detail uh, down to certain dolls have certain eyeshadow, certain dolls have certain nail polish. I mean, it's phenomenal. Um, yep. In the gold, we've got the companion doll that uh, very conveniently, there were 14 of us that were interested in taking this doll home, and there were exactly 14 dolls available. So I feel very grateful to have been uh, so lucky to go and to receive this doll. I have the same set of these two at home in my apartment that I'm lovingly staring at all the time. Do you I'm just at stare at them when you oh, get home? Oh my gosh. I've got one sitting right next to my like armchair at home that I just like sit and like enjoy. <laughs> so I love it. That's what we're 
was supposed to do. Yeah. In uh, Carol Cameron's amazing program, she talked about how the nail polish was crudely painted. Yes. And I love that Julian crudely painted. It's crudely painted. It's yes. not perfect. Well, and the, the contrast to that in the faces, right? Like, right. Lily faces were also painted a little crudely, but Julian has decided uh, very lovingly to paint them in a more... Um, detail-oriented and affectionate way, affectionate way, and um, I appreciate that very much, and I think that is one alteration that I think is, you know, maybe worth making, but everything else really is just down to the wire. It's so perfect. I have enjoyed fun. them very much. Yep, it was so fun. We we enjoyed it. So the the next, the, and then that night, we went to yeah. the Tonner dinner. Yeah, promptly after Julian, we had the Beautiful Views, hosted by Robert Tonner. Um, and, and the he, Metro Dolls Club. Oh, yes. It was lovely. Um, Robert did a really beautiful presentation uh, that I will not disclose any secrets about because it's very exciting. But um, inspired by that presentation is our Celebrating Beautiful Views souvenir doll. This is a brunette. What was the sculpt name again? So this is the Lacey, Lacey. sculpt. Yes. And let's get it so we can show our, our friends the She's got the some sculpt. really so serious fringe bangs. Serious fringe. But um, I kind of like that they almost shadow her eyes, but uh, she's got a really gorgeous Great makeup. Face. Oh, look at the makeup. Up. I know. Really, like, really good. I love that. Like, the eyeshadow is so nicely diffused, and the lip color is phenomenal. It's very good. I love the blush. I think she, I really think she's just gorgeous. She is. And so she is on the RTB 102 body, which yes. is the next generation from the RTB 101, which is the one Grace is on. Yeah. Now, I'm curious to see what the bottom looks like. What does the yeah. butt look like? So it's the same sculpt, but it's not rubbery. Okay. So you've got the same sort of tush as Grace. But no rubber. No rubber. Okay. Um, now, we were there and in close proximity to our dear friend Robert Tonner, so he was willing to sign our uh, companion dolls, or our uh, souvenir dolls, rather. And um, I love the sequins on this. They catch light so yeah. beautifully. It's a phenomenal dress. I like the high ponytail. Um, and the the body's really nice. Uh, she is, in Robert's words, uh, perkier and more busty than the RTV 101. And I asked Christopher, I'm like, how how do you make perkier perkier boobs than what Grace has? Because hers are pretty darn perky, girl. It's, and yeah. they're they're a little bit more perky. Yeah, they're they're uh, it's the ratio of like <laughs> bosom cusp uh, cup size to like I don't know rib cage. I guess. Yeah. Um, it is slightly different, but she's really gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, very, very pretty. Very so pretty. We have both of these dolls um, signed. And actually, I think one of my favorite parts are the shoes that oh, come yeah, with it. Oh, yeah, the shoes are really good. Really gorgeous, phenomenal shoes. Um, sort of a clear uh, strap at the heel, sling back heel, and a nice little, uh, looks like an open toe. And then there's some flowers and pearls over the top of that. Just really very pretty. Very pretty. And then the centerpiece on the table was the Lacey doll in, these were limited to 25, and this is the same outfit but in black. And mm -hmm. it's and it has different adornments on it, different details, mm -hmm. but, uh, and she's in blonde. But otherwise, I, I think it looks like the same doll, but just in a different color. Yeah, same color scheme of the sequins, everything. I mean, like, even the shoes are black, and the, the gown is black, and the hair is blonde. But functionally, she's just a variation of the same doll. Um, and I think she is really striking as well. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. And then they had a fundraiser, and uh, it was a silent auction. And so I put in a couple bids, and I won. Now, I have always, always, always wanted an Outlander Claire doll. They are some of my favorite dolls that Robert has ever done, ever, ever. Look at this stunning doll. I just yeah. can't even put the costume. I know. Oh, the it's Outlander series. It phenomenal. kills me. It's so phenomenal. Like, it's it really is next level. Next level. I have just always been stunned by Robert's Outlander collection. The gloves, Christopher. I know. Gloves. I know. <laughs> and what a we've been on a color. we've been on a glove tirade <laughs> lately. We have gloves coming, by the yeah. way. Um, the shoes. The outfit. It's the really, hat. I know, the hat with the flowers. The sculpt. She is beautiful. And I love her lip color, too. I love everything about the Claire series and the Outlander series. I just, now that we are foraying deeper into manufacturing, don't I you know. just appreciate I so know. much Those when it... Those little buttons are so yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. She's, she's, and like the printing of the fabric is breathtaking. Breathtaking. Um, so if you're another lucky uh, owner of this doll, I hope that you cherish her as much as we do. Yes. She is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Now, another doll that was in the silent auction was this beautiful Rain, and I thought she was, I really loved her outfit, and I just yeah. thought she was so pretty so I put in a bit on her and won her as well. Rain is on the RTB 101 body. Same body as Grace. 
But I just thought this was a beautiful doll and beautiful fabric. And She's gorgeous. I so, love her face. I love her eye makeup. Yeah, Rain um, Rain has these wonderful winged, the wonderful winged eyeliner. Well, and the like the the tiny subtle shimmer in the fabric yeah. is so gorgeous. I just I really appreciate the way that that catches light, and. Uh, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful doll. Like I said, it was a miniature doll haul, but I also want to give a big shout out to Alicia Carver and her husband Charles Carver, the Carvers, who made the wonderful uh, wooden dolls that, that oh were the gosh. souvenir at the at the banquet. She was so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Her dolly, dolly. The star of the whole convention was about this tall and yeah. absolutely charming. Absolutely uh, charming. A beautiful face and, and wonderfully detailed and you know lovingly crafted. Handmade just they made them themselves. Yeah. It's they're incredible. So we're gonna put some photos here but congratulations to you guys if you're watching this to uh, Charles and Alicia. So exciting. So yeah. this is a new business that they started just recently in the last I think three years and they're just killing it. They're just doing such a great job so good for you it, that's the impressive part is for them to be as gorgeous as they are yeah. and and so new to the art of making dolls right um that's a feat so yeah mazel tov mazel tov so we hope you enjoyed our little doll haul here we always have fun and love showing everything off and we'll be uh hopefully there might be another clip at the end of this if we find smoky tomorrow <laughs> fingers I know. crossed if we can find smoky help us find smoky because yeah, we're not going to submit this footage until tomorrow so we might find him in the morning fingers crossed okay it's the end of the video this is the next day and I want everyone to know that we found the Smokey the Bear. First thing this morning after not being able to find him anywhere here he is he was already on display in our case so but isn't he cute? So had had to show Smokey you know it's not Smokey the Bear it's Smokey Bear for everyone who's a diehard Smokey fan. We learned Smokey that. Bear. Smokey Bear. We learned we learned that at the event but some people still say Smokey the Bear. All right Hope you enjoyed the doll haul. See you soon.